Okay, so I'm going to put this drawing, this uh, reference back up here. So uh, as a character, this character is, uh, let me just make sure this is on. Uh, this character is, she's, you know, she's strong, she's, she's got a lot of attitude, right? So when you're drawing, you think about that. She's not, a, she's not a delicate person. She's not, you know, she's got boots, she's got holes in her stockings, she's got all this metal on her, you know. So when you're drawing her, you're thinking about that, you know, you're feeling for that. that how do I express that with my line? So I, oh, I said I was going to use this. I'm going to use this. So it's a big old square thing, right? doesn't matter. I can use uh, anything and draw the same way. So, okay, back to the head. Now I'm a little bit, you know, I know some of you work, I'm a little bit close, I think, to actually see what I'm doing here, so I wouldn't normally work this close. So again, looking for the head. And where is her eye light? It's sort of up here, right? I want to get I want to make sure I get that head angle going, you know, as I start. So it's real simple, but that head, I want to get that head angle. And maybe a little bit of characteristic, maybe I'll put that bow in there just to remind myself, you know, get myself moving here with, with, uh, with this, uh, uh, Character, the attitude of the character. I'm thinking now whether, I think I got that too high. Okay. So what you don't want to do is putz around, like I am right now, putz around too much on the head because you very well might have to, it, it might be too big, it might be too small, you might have to move it one way or the other. So you don't want to, you know, spend too much time on it. So here's this shoulder, come over here. What's the angle? And get that angle, get this shoulder. And if you don't know where it is, like do a, uh, put a uh, horizontal line. See the horizontal line over here? Where is this in relation to this? Where is this shoulder in relation to what I've already drawn? So now, because I've already drawn something, Everything is in relation to that. So this shoulder is, if I drew a neckline here, this shoulder is in line. So it's a little bit higher than I, than I have it. Important to relate the shoulders to the chin. Because a lot of times we just go ahead and we draw like this, and that's not what's happening, right? Her shoulder here is all the way up by her chin. So, you know, Always uh, observe, you know, don't let yourself just fall into habits and not observe what's really going on. So again, we're looking for stretch and compression. You see how quickly you can get there? You just, you're just gonna get this. Now, I've done a lot of drawing. I, you know, um, I probably, just by eyeballing it, can get this in the right place, but it never hurts to measure, to say, okay, where's this hip? And where is that? Again, in relation to what I have already drawn. So it's, it's out here. I can draw a plumb line here, and I can know how far out this hip is. And then, you know, getting that ellipse, getting this sense of this. You see how easy it is to get the stretch and compression here? Okay, so now this top, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this plumb line straight down, right? So it's, it's, uh, parallel to the side of your paper. Make sure you get it absolutely straight. If you have a ruler, I don't have one right here, you have a ruler, it really helps um, to get the, make sure you get it absolutely vertical. You know, if, if it's like going like this, it's not going to help you, right? You, it has to be absolutely vertical. And if you decide to measure something horizontally, that has to be horizontal, again, to your paper. These horizontals have to be absolutely horizontal as well. So, you know, not absolutely absolute, but as horizontal as you can get them. So when you're 
measuring either a horizontal or a vertical. You want to try it the best you can to get it really in line. And you can have a ruler with you and actually get an absolute straight line. Okay, so we've got the ellipse here, right? So we've got the top, and we have compression over here. We've got an ellipse. You see how the ellipse moves this way and then around? So it's moving side of her body and then around her belly. You see it? Moving around her belly. See it? So it's not just, you know, again, really observe what you're looking at. So it comes here and exaggerate your ellipses. Exaggerate and wrap them around. See how I'm wrapping it like it's coming back on itself? Wrapping it around. Wrapping it around. You see how much volume that creates? Just that. Now these uh, stripes, if you wanted to put these in, are, you know, they're wrapping around the body, right? So that's another thing that can give you uh, information on what's happening on the body. So I can come up uh, to her breasts and I can use this to describe it in three dimensions. I'm still using line, right? I'm not using tone, I'm using line. I'm using a soft line and I can go as thick as this. You know, I can really get thick with what I'm using, but it's a line. So I could, you know, I could come in on this and I can, I can create, by using these stripes, I can create a uh, dimension up here. Okay, now again, the belt, another ellipse, right? See, so it looks a little straight, it's, but it's not straight, right? We know it's not straight. It's wrapping around the body, right? So, you wanna get, I wanna get this point and I wanna get this point, right? So dropping a plumb line, again, up to what I'm drawing where does it hit what I've already established? Because I have to relate everything to what I draw first. Um, I've got to get these two points of the hip where it comes in and where it goes out. So those two points, really important, right, in order to get this figure. So now I am looking, now the belt is pretty much on her waist. So I'm looking again, and I'm going to draw again this ellipse as elliptical as I can draw it. So it's never straight across. If it's, if it's straight across, you're canceling out the form. So this way, and then this way. So, so important to get these ellipses right. More than getting the belt is getting the ellipse, because the belt will come. If you get the ellipses, you can put this belt in. You know, it's not about all the details of the belt. It's about what this belt is saying about the body. The body, if you had to pick what's number one and what's number two, the body is number one, the clothing is number two. So body number one, clothing number two. But you're drawing them at the same time, right? But you are thinking always about describing the body. What, what's the body doing? That's what we're interested in. The clothing is interesting. And we can get sidetracked thinking the clothing is what's important, but really it's what, what's, the, what's her attitude? What's she doing? Why is she doing it? Why is she, why is she uh, standing like that? You know, it's kind of an attitude pose. Okay, so even on my large piece of paper, it looks like I'm going to run out of room here uh, to get this whole thing on. But, so hip is coming in. Again, S-curve, remember the S-curves? So when you get to the legs and the arms, remember the S-curves, they're not straight. They're always an S-curve. So this leg, you see the S-curve of this leg? So it comes in, you're gonna find the knee. The knee's right about here. So you're gonna find that. And then, so it curves in and then curves over. And this one, not as important, because the weight's not on it, right? The, she's on her toe here. This is where her weight is. So her weight is really over here. So you might want to draw this darker over here because this is where the weight is. Over here, less weight. So maybe a little lighter because that's, that's 
how the weight feels, right? So when you go, when you're going to do the skirt, it's crossing this leg, right? So you're going to honor the fact it's crossing this leg, then it dips, and then it crosses this leg, right? So again, as you're drawing it, really be thinking about not only the ellipse of the skirt, so the skirt is elliptical, right, at the bottom, right? The skirt is an ellipse at the top and an ellipse at the bottom. But as you draw it, so you're thinking overall uh, of the ellipse, remember this one, this ellipse, like this, Overall, it's like this, but you want to really wrap it around that knee or that thigh, wrap it around and, and honor the fact that it dips in a little and then it comes out again and then up and it's wrapping. You see how it's wrapping around? So again, we're always, always, always thinking about the body relating. So we're right to say that knee is we're going to say this knee is, this one has to be right across from it in some relationship. Okay, so um, this is the idea. And someone asked about um, these plaids, the same as the stripes. You can put them in if you want. We're not, we're not rendering, right? But you can put these lines in if you want. It's really can be useful in terms of really finding uh, the form of the body. So that can help you find the form of the body. Um, so as we start doing stripes and plaids and really getting, we're, we're heading more into a 10 minute pose, right? It takes more time to think about some of these things. Um, and then 20 minute, hopefully we can get the arms in, you know, we can get these arms going. You know, get that. Now the arm could be doing anything, right? The arm could be down. This arm could be down. She could be standing like that. I can change it to that. Uh, so that's why the arm is secondary. The arm gesture, you know, S curve, right? S curve. Uh, the arm gesture is secondary and the unweighted leg is secondary to this big, uh, I'm put this in a color, to this big gesture. This is the big gesture of the body. We've got head, neck, shoulders, down through the torso, and then down through the weighted leg. That is the big S curve of the body. So you could do a gesture that is just an S curve, maybe with a head on the top. You know, you could do, that could be, uh, a, that's a form of a gesture. So someone asked me about gesture, that is a gesture. Now, hopefully in five minutes you can get more than that done. That maybe this is like five second gesture. But it gets you started, you know, gets you started. And all you have to do then is put a head on that, get the shoulder right, get down with your macaroni shape, and you're on your way, right? You're already, you're already got um, the stretch and compression here. You're already on your way. Just bam, bam. So. You could do a one, two minute uh, pose. In fact, if you're in a drawing class, you often do that. You often do like one, two minute poses to get warmed up. And that's what you're looking for, is getting, getting a sense of the, of the person you're drawing, how she moves, uh, what kind of poses she takes, what her attitude is, what kind of character she is. And so getting this gesture going is how you do that. 